How many of you have been seeing and hearing the things that I have been seeing and hearing from Tabang and Kosi? But it seems as though not even Ebuka exposing their secret affair can actually deter them from doing whatever it is they are planning on doing. Because these two people hmm, have actually increased their closeness. Yes. The level of closeness between these two people now, ladies and gentlemen, there's no questioning the fact that they are kind of attracted to each other but in the midst of all of that attraction yeah they are sort of playing each other guys <laughs> the pressure is getting worse out between tabang and kosi and there are certain things i hear from time to time in their conversations and then when kosi goes back to yemi who obviously is trying to be a better person at least for the cameras you know we, we tend to hear an entirely different story so, she is now behaving like a wife that's kind of cheating on a husband that's been cheating on her you know so it's like a situation of at this point in time because i've caught my husband or my partner cheating i want to get my own pound of flesh even though he's trying to turn a new leaf because he just might want to go back to his old vomit again so ladies and gentlemen the matter is complicated and we're going to talk about it on this particular episode of frankly speaking with gloria elijah so please make sure you watch the end of this video and as always i will encourage you to go ahead and share your thoughts with me in the comment section below yeah you especially welcome back to my youtube channel my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with glory and i am the girl with the T. If you are a new subscriber here, special welcome and special thanks to you. Thanks for joining the community. Thanks for increasing our numbers. You are simply amazing. If you are a returning viewer, returning subscriber, thank you so much for choosing to come back to watch this video. And once again, guys, I'm not going to stop wishing you all a happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all are having a blast. I hope love has been locating you today. I, I just hope that you are being nice and kind to yourself. Thank you all so much for choosing to come back to watch this video. If you are not a part of this community, then trust me, you're missing out on a lot of juicy tea. So please just go ahead and do exactly what you see on your screen so that you will be able to receive a lot of my videos whenever i upload a new one and so that you'll be able to richly interact with like-minded individuals that's currently enjoying you know the big brother titans show and aside that if you are also a lover of reality tv shows movies and trending social topics this is where you get all of that juicy scope now um that said let's quickly proceed into this conversation so on sunday Ebuka exposed all the ships in the house yes and one would think that oh by that simple action um things are going to come to some sort of pause between kosi and tabang especially because their relationship seems like the most awkward yes amongst all the entanglements that was actually talked about by ibuka on sunday remember um aside kanaga jr and tati who are going by the the tagline of oh we're siblings kosi and um tabang's one seems the most awkward because of the circumstances surrounding it yeah now there is kosi who is constantly or who was constantly and still is constantly um terrorizing in quotes terrorizing yemi over you know being attracted to blue ava you know thereby making herself look like a saint and then ebuka had actually exposed it to the whole house to the whole world that okay you that is making yourself look like a saint here you are not even a saint because the person that you've been telling yemi is your brother is like your family member is like your safe haven in this house both of you have been planning a lot of nasty and erotic things to do in and outside the house so you are not innocent at all so yeah one would think that kosi would just have some self-respect for herself and you know keep her distance from from tabang but hell no apparently Kosi has her own agenda ongoing. From the first conversation they had after Sunday, which was um, yesterday, 
afternoon before the um, head of house challenge and the live nomination process um Kosi had been asking tabang why he had not really opened up you know to tell her um, everything you knew about Yemi shenanigans at night. Remember last week when they were having conversations in the garden when they almost kissed. Um, Tabanga actually told Kosi that she slept too much, that she was always sort of dead in her sleep, that she should at least try and stay awake because a lot of things happen at night. That was a night he was kind of giving her a hint about what had been going on in, the, in their room upstairs in Santin and also with Yemi. But um, she had not paid attention to his warnings. According to her, it wasn't worth it on that day. So yesterday, she was, you know, asking him questions why he had not really opened up. And he had said, well, because he did not want it to be a situation of, oh, she comes to hang out more with him just to make Yemi jealous. That he wanted her hanging out with him to be organic. And he wasn't only referring to Yemi, he was actually referring to something he had observed. Now, Tabang was feeling that, oh, there, there's a possibility that there's something going on between Yemi and Nelisa. Now, they did not outrightly say it, but from the details of their conversation, because this would be, they speak in code, right? And most of the time, even though you try to listen into their conversation, sometimes you might not really understand what they're saying, except you pay close attention and then you, you try to put two and two together from previous conversations they've had before you'll be able to decode what they're talking about. Now, from all that we are codedly talking about, it seems as though both of them were insinuating that Yemi and Nelisa were probably doing crazy stuff at night. And us, the viewers, most of the time, we don't get to see it. And I'm wondering, like, okay, if there was such a thing happening, then on one of such nights, I probably would have seen. Because I usually wait for this housemate to sleep, and I, I try to see what they do, even in their sleep. But then, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Maybe the cameras are not showing us. Or maybe Tabang is just trying to play mind games with Kosi. Or maybe Kosi is trying to play mind games with Tabang just to solidify, you know, their bond, you know, to enhance their game. Guys, frankly speaking, I don't know what these three people are doing. But obviously, they are playing games with each other. Anyways, it was after they said what they said that Kosi now asked Tabang, okay, how do we move on from here? What's the way forward? In other words, she was asking him that, oh, regardless of Ebuka exposing both of them, how do they continue in their relationship, in their secret affair? <laughs> Guys. And, you know, at some point she even made a statement like, oh, she was even considering breaking up with Yemi and then coming to officially become Tabang's girlfriend. So the way she put it was um, she was even considering tapping out and tapping in. Something I did, I feel like it would be time for me to tap out and tap in. What? Tap out and then tap in. <laughs> but like, it, mm. I mean, like, it's not. Leaving Yemi and coming to stick with him. Now, Tabang had refuted by stylishly saying that for him he does not mind you know um Kosi being together with Yemi still because um the fact that she's still with Yemi it's sort of putting him in a tight position where he cannot call her a hypocrite looking at the fact that he's been playing some midnight runs with Blue Ava so the fact that the arrangement is like that he's pretty much comfortable with it because by so doing Yemi cannot hold both of them to ransom if he finally finds out for himself that indeed they are an item in the house <laughs> hey now yesterday before the head of house challenge and the live nomination process you know Tabang and Kosi still they had spent a lot of time together and Kosi was really confident that if anything at all happens and she needs to be rescued or saved Tabang would surely save her and she will also have Tabang's back but guess what Tabang had his own plans Tabang had had a conversation with Nana and I told Nana that, listen, he does not care about anybody else. That for him, the only person he cared about saving, if push comes to shove, is Tati. And that was exactly how it played out yesterday. Even when Big Brother had given the housemates one hour to deliberate on um, their nomination choices and, you know, whatever they needed to talk about before the nomination process, um, Kosi had had a conversation with um, Nana and Tabang. Miracle as well. Miracle was outrightly begging 
to not be nominated or swapped at all if they are not up. But Kosi, on the other hand, was playing it, you know, subtle, trying to play mind games with her bank. But listen, I don't want it to be awkward for you guys. If you don't save us, we we'll understand. But still, you know, she was just playing it subtle like that. And the way Tabang was looking, Kosi was very confident that Tabang was going to save her if push comes to shove. But guess what? It did not play out that way. So that thing really affected Kosi. Even till today that the housemates are doing Valentine romance up and down in the house, it's still affecting Kosi to the point that she cannot even fully express herself to Tabang. She's very disappointed. Very, very disappointed. And Tabang is now feeling awkward around her, now feeling uncomfortable around her. To so the point that today, you know, he was trying to compliment her on her beauty, how great she looked, and she wasn't feeling it at all. For her, she felt like Tabang had actually betrayed her trust and confidence in him. So he had made a statement like, okay, maybe he was going to give her space. And that kind of irritated her a bit. But then she had said, listen, I told you I will tell you later what is bothering me. But definitely not now because I don't want to talk about it. But in the midst of all these things, they have been sharing, you know, hugs. Like overly, overly cozy, comfortable hugs. That when sometimes it seems as though they want to kiss, Tabang will look at the cameras. And immediately, you know, hold himself back. Kosi as well, sometimes it seems as though she wants to demand for more. But then she cannot because she doesn't want the camera to catch them just yet. And the interesting part about this whole drama is that Yemi keeps seeing them together. And whenever Yemi sees them together, they are whispering or speaking in low tones. And there's this electrifying tension between them that means that, oh, they probably want to touch or hold each other or kiss each other but then they do not want people to find them out just yet from the way the whole thing is looking like guys it just looks like oh when um, a wife wants to leave the husband and abscond with her lover but then she's putting her plans into order you know trying to structurize everything to make it a smooth escape so guys at the moment that's exactly what it's what's happening between Tabang and Kosi. And guys, I cannot wait to see what happens because Kosi has been lying to Yemi back to back. Like today now, before Yemi was professing his love and affections towards her, he had asked her, come, today is Valentine's Day. You're supposed to be spending time with me. But yet again, you're spending time with Tabang. What's going on? And Kosi was lying that, oh, eh, they asked me something. He was asking me if I was okay, blah, blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know, but I am looking forward to seeing how this whole thing is going to play out on the long run. Personally, I feel like Tabang has recognized that there's drama when it comes to Kosi. There's highlights as well. And he's definitely going to probably be in the house for a while if he continues to play Kosi's game. And I feel like that's exactly what he's doing. Kosi, on the other hand, I feel like she's looking for a backup plan because surely she does not believe all of Yemi's acts of, oh, I have changed, I have changed. Yes, for her, there's every tendency that Yemi could likely move on to another house. And also because Yemi is part of her strategy in the game. So I just feel like both of them are using each other. But I would love to know your thoughts. What do you think? Please go ahead and share with us in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.